Hi guys, welcome to another Total Technic video. Today we're working on the uh, B6 uh, B stroke B7 Audi A4, S4 and RS4 Cabriolet. Uh, this particular one's uh, an S4 B6, uh, but like I said, the B7 is very similar, so this would also apply if you've got the B7. Uh, what we're going to look at today is removing the uh, rear uh, side panel, uh, this panel in here, um, also known as a, a rear door card by some people, but obviously technically it's not a door card because being the convertible it only has two doors, so it's not actually attached to the door. So uh, Audi call this the rear side panel. So this is what we're going to uh, get removed today. Now if you want to remove the uh, rear side panel here, uh, then we've got to do a little bit of strip down work before we can actually get this out. So if you're going to remove this, we need to remove the, uh, the bench from the rear seats. And we've also got to remove the, uh, the uprights, uh, the actual main panels of the rear seats themselves, uh, and also the, uh, the two headrests as well. Uh, all those have got to come out uh, before we can remove this side panel. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll add uh, links for you on the, uh, on the YouTube video in the, use, in the uh, more information section below this video. At the bottom you'll see links on uh, how to remove those bits if you're unsure how to do that. Uh, so follow those links and then come back and we'll concentrate on the, uh, the panel itself. Okay, so once we've removed the, uh, the seats, uh, that will allow us to, uh, to gain the access. The reason that we had to uh, remove these seats, as you can see the, uh, the actual lines where the, uh, the seats come up to, uh, they cover uh, quite a lot of this panel. So it's very, very, very hard, if not virtually impossible, to get that out without removing the seats first, unfortunately. So stage number one, so with a proper trim tool if you can, just bring it under the end here. This is the end um, towards the back of the car. And just lift it forward like so until it pops out the first one there. And just carefully work your fingers along it, putting each uh, clip out as you go until you get to the end. And the end, as is uh, usual on these types, is actually, uh, hopefully you can see that there, is, uh, is actually a hook, which is why you've got to start at the, uh, the rear, the, you know, the, the trunk, the boot end of the car first and work towards the front of the car. Okay, or towards the uh, front door. This is the front door end. Uh, that's the uh, the uh, boot. Okay, so use that the uh, corner at the rear first. Pop that out, and then pop each of these clips out one by one until you get to the last one here. And then when you get to the last one, don't lift it too much because you can break this hook. Lift it a little bit, give it a wobble backwards, and just unhook that. So that's, that's stage number one. Once we've removed the uh, decorative trim from here. Uh, we remove the uh, the um, side panel here. So all you do is just pop this panel out, lean it forward, lift it up, and that's removed. So once you've done that, if you uh, take a look up here in the uh, corner where you've removed the seats, there's a size 25 uh, torque screw that holds this uh, top rear corner uh, of this in situ. So you just pop that out. You notice that will that'll free up that rear corner. Okay, so with that screw removed in the top corner, there's uh, three clips now uh, that actually hold this into the uh, the body. Um, I've just had a little feel of this one, and it's, it seems that this one's been out before, and they've not uh, put the clips back in properly. We'll soon find out, but I'll remove this, and I'll show you where the clips uh, should be. Uh, one thing to note as well, just push this uh, this down, and then just keep, kind of keep it out of the way, uh, so you're not fighting the seat belt as well. Uh, there should be two clips at the bottom, one clip at the top, and uh, as ever, when you're working on these clips, try and have a little feel around for where that clip is located. So once you feel where the resistance is, you can get your hand in close to it, uh, rather than creating a big lever. Because if you're pulling some, if you're pulling something a long way from where it's attached, then obviously you're putting a lot of pressure on it, a lot of leverage, and that's when you can that's when you can break it. So have a feel around, find where the clip is, and then get your hands in as, as close as you can. And once you've found out where the resistance is on these clips. Just give them little uh, tugs to pop it out, rather than tr holding onto it, holding onto it, holding onto it, and then the whole thing pops off and you'll, you'll end up ripping the whole thing off. All you want to do is unpop the clip that you're working on. Let's say, uh, yeah, these are already gone, so it hasn't been uh, refitted particularly well, so it's going to be easier for me to get out. Uh, another one, yeah, that was, that was one as well. There uh, should be one down here, I'll show you in a second. And it kind of hooks in over the top here, like so. Okay. Uh, I'll try and uh, turn this round. I've still got the seat belt to remove yet. I'll try and turn this around for you. Show you where the air clips should be. Okay. 
okay and hopefully you can uh, you can see from see from uh, see from here this is where the one should have been at the rear there's one here that pops through the uh, front there's another, also another one here and uh, there's one here that's actually yeah that is still in place but obviously it hasn't uh, located properly when they've uh, refitted this so whoever fitted this uh, did quite a bad job uh, but those are the three clips that you want to find when you're working from the other side okay now the last thing we need to do um, if we want to get the uh, get the uh, rear side panel completely out of the car is obviously we've got the uh, the seat belt that's running through the, uh, the panel here and so we've actually got to detach this and the easiest way to do that is at the bottom here and I normally uh, see where this bolt is here uh, that is a size what do I have 17 here and normally it's got like a little plastic cover over the top of it uh, this one's missing uh, but it does literally just just pop off so it's not very complicated pop that off that'll give you access to this bolt For a second, that get, you can kind of lean it forward. Going to uh, have to feed this through, give it a little bit of space, like so. And you can see it's just literally a, like a, a loop. There's no metal on there. It's just a loop that that sits around this this bolt on here. Uh, so, so that's it. I'm going to pop that back in there just for safekeeping. Uh, but that's out of there now, and so we should be able to feed the uh, seat belt back through the uh, body here, with the rear side panel trim, and that enables you to remove the whole thing from the car. So, so that's it, ready to go.